the Primus takes you inside the world's biggest fish farm. The population of this world will get to a mammoth 9.1 billion by 2050, and fulfilling the food demand is one of the growing concerns. It is estimated that we need almost 70% more food as compared to what we have today. Fish is an important nutritional item being a low-fat, high-quality protein. Fish contains omega-3 fatty acids and vitamins such as D and B2. Unfortunately, wild fish stocks are declining at a rapid pace, and estimates tells us that we need at least two times more fish than we have in our oceans today. So what is the solution? We need to farm fish. So today we take you inside the biggest fishing farm in Norway, made to look similar to a spaceship by the Chinese marine manufacturer CSI. Ocean Farm took almost 11 months to get to Norway from China. The technology is centered around revolutionizing salmon farming, also to increase production in Norway to meet the population demands. If you go to your nearest supermarket today, chances are high that the fish you see there comes from a farm. How much revenue do you think fish can bring to a country? Well, in Norway's case, it brings them to around $8 billion every year, which is why it would be right to dub Ocean Farm 1 the biggest fish farm in the world. This fish farm belongs to a company named Solmar, which co-owns Scottish Sea Farms, and has harvested a total of 10,000 tons of salmon in two successful farming cycles in Ocean Farm 1. As a full-scale pilot facility, Ocean Farm 1 is designed to test out both the biological as well as technological aspects of offshore fish farming. Ocean Farm 1 is a highly equipped facility. It provides services like auto fishing, hydraulic monitoring, deep sea navigation, and biological lightning control systems. The structure itself is a semi-submersible rigid structure that has a circular diameter of around 110 meters. The installation requirement of sea depth is around 110 to 300 meters. This facility has measures to fulfill all fish farming needs without the requirement of any external aid. The Design Ocean 1 farm is designed for 25 years of regular operation. The structure can handle typhoons and can withstand earthquakes of up to 12 points. Per annum, this farm is capable of breeding 1.5 million fish. The farm required around 10 employees for proper functioning and the fish survival rate is around 98%. 100 monitors and 20,000 sensors and control systems provide you with the information of control and all the metrics that affect the throughput in any possible way. The farm also boasts a 360-degree rotatable self-cleaning gate. This cleaning helps eliminate biofouling, which can be hazardous for fish gills. The health of fish pens in this farm is monitored by metrics in a specialized laboratory with expert manpower and high-tech machinery where all the metrics are keenly observed and timely decisions are made. One of the major problems faced at this farm is the sea lice that parasitize salmon skin. The fascinating part about the problem is that of course this is a natural problem, and to deal with it, natural cleaners were used. Around 21,500 cleaner fish were released into the water to demolish sea lice. It might not be wrong to dub Fish Farm one of the biggest LOT projects. LOT in this case helps identify the areas from where fish can escape out of the facility. Not only can those areas be sealed via controllable actuators, but also other regions are also identified instantaneously. In September 2018, around 16,000 salmon were able to swim out of their cage when Ocean Farm 1 tilted after water entered an inspection hatch that had been accidentally left open. A few meters of the top of the net were opened to 18 centimeters underwater for a short period, allowing the fish to escape. A second escape caused by a tear in the net occurred in August 2020. The problem with fish leaking into the sea or the natural habitat is that they can cause genetic mutations because fish raised in ocean farm experience an entirely different environment as compared to the natural ones. Apart from the Adapta Ocean Farm 1, Salmar Akir Ocean, the Norwegian company that owns the farm, is developing a much larger fish contraption, the Smart Fish Farm, or SSF, capable of operating even further offshore and holding 19,000 tons of fish. Mariculture is a subsidiary company that is in charge of this project, and it was granted eight developmental permits, the equivalent of just 6,000 tons of biomass, but it still needs permission for a site. This is the first time that a company has applied for clearance of real estate for aquaculture in the open sea. The Salmar Ocean Farm 1 went out of service last year, and it'll be back in the waters in autumn of this year. Today's bottom line is that, yes, ocean farming is profitable. And so with that, we thank you for viewing today's video. Like and share this video if you believe it's helpful. Don't forget to post your comments about Salmar's Ocean Farm 1 in the comment section down below. We'll hope to meet you again on another fun video. Until then, peace.